Hey there and welcome to the daily Manchester United news show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Wayne Rooney says senior Man United players need to get Marcus Rashford fired up. Manchester United legend Wayne Rooney has said that Marcus Rashford needs to be more ruthless as a number 9 after struggling against Nottingham Forest in the FA Cup fifth round. The England international has started the last two games up front with Rasmus Hoyland and Anthony Martial being sidelined by injuries. He has been largely ineffective from the role at City Ground last night. Rashford had a decent passing accuracy of 71%, but he did not register a single shot on target. He lost possession on 11 occasions over 90 minutes. Speaking after the game, Rooney acknowledged that the team need to create chances for the striker. He said on BBC Sport, you need the team to create chances for you if you are playing as a number 9. Marcus Rashford needs to be more ruthless and be patient and stay in the middle of the goal. You just want to see more from him. He added, confidence is the main factor. He hasn't been scoring regularly this season and he maybe needs to simplify his game to get back in the groove. He's not the most vocal lad. His body language doesn't look great at times, but he is not like that. The senior players need to get more out of him and get him fired up. Rashford was sensational for United last term with 31 goals and 11 assists in all competitions. He has failed to replicate the same with only 5 goals and 6 assists so far. Despite this, the club graduate is one of the most important players under manager Eric Ten Hag. He has the chance to make a statement in the Manchester derby on Sunday. United are already 8 points adrift of the top 4 and they can't afford to lose further ground with another setback against Manchester City at the Etihad Stadium. Rashford has had decent output against City with 5 goals and 1 assist from 19 meetings. United the chances of getting anything from the game could depend on him. Alan Scherer reacts to Anthony's performance versus Nottingham Forest. Newcastle United legend Alan Scherer was far from impressed by Anthony's performance against Nottingham Forest in the FA Cup fifth round last night. The Brazil international was reinstated into the starting 11 for the first time since the four-round win at Newport County where he scored and assisted. Anthony had a lively start for Manchester United at City Ground hitting the woodwork in the fourth minute. He went on to have two shots on target. The former Ajax man also created four chances for his teammates, but Scherer was not pleased. He said that Anthony did not warrant to stay on the pitch after his substitution. The BBC pounded added that it was the same old with him, cutting inside and handing possession to someone else. He was nowhere near enough for the money he cost, he said. Anthony hasn't done anywhere near enough to warrant staying on the pitch. Same old, same old. He cuts inside and gives the ball to someone else. Nowhere near enough from someone who cost that much. Anthony has had a difficult second season with the Red Devils. Aside from his goal and assist at Newport, he has yet to make any other goal contributions. He recently had an extended spell on the bench as a result. The winger got the nod over Omari Forson and it was a much improved showing. Of course, he did not make a difference to the score sheet, but we believe Scherer was too critical on Anthony, who had a solid first half performance. The 24-year-old deserves to keep his place in the starting 11 when United face off against arch rivals Manchester City at the Etihad Stadium on Sunday. United face a huge challenge in the derby, but the game is a must win to avoid losing ground on Aston Villa in the race for the final Champions League spot. Diogo Dalo impresses for Man United in FA Cup win at Nottingham Forest. Manchester United right-back Diogo Dalo delivered an impressive performance during the 1-0 win over Nottingham Forest in the FA Cup fifth round. The Red Devils returned to winning ways with a victory at City Ground, but their performance was not entirely convincing over 90 minutes. They still managed to come on top after a late goal from Casimero from a Bruno Fernandes free kick. 
aside from Casimero, Andre Onana also had a good outing on the road. The Cameronian star made a couple of crucial saves after the break. In our view, Diogo Dallo was the best performer last night. The Portuguese nullified the threat of Anthony Ilanga, who has been Forrest's most creative player. The 24-year-old had 72 touches, completing 93% of his passes. He created three key chances for his teammates, including a brilliant cross for Scott McTominay, who should have scored. Elsewhere, Dallo made four clearances and looked assured defensively compared to the Fulham game. The 35 million euros rated star will need to replicate a similar performance on Sunday when United take on a rampant Manchester City side in a Premier League derby at the Etihad Stadium. The Red Devils are already eight points behind Aston Villa for the final Champions League spot. The gap could be 11 points if the villains manage to beat Luton on the road on Saturday. Hence, the derby is a must win for the Red Devils. United must turn up for the big occasion and beat the citizens who have been vulnerable against counter-attacking teams this term. Roy Keane believes Harry Maguire is the root of Manchester United pressing problems. Roy Keane believes Harry Maguire is the primary cause of Manchester United pressing problems. The 52-year-old says the team is frightened to death to fully commit to an aggressive press because of fears Maguire will be caught out by a ball over the top. United slammed to a disappointing 2-1 loss in their latest Premier League game against Fulham last week and Jamie Carragher criticized the team's defense for sitting so deep compared to their midfield. Carragher's comments led Keen to suggest that Maguire is the root of their problem, with huge gaps created due to some players pressing and others hanging back. He said, They aren't pressing up. I don't want to be just pinning it on Maguire, but there is always that worry with Maguire coming up and squeezing the pitch like all the other top teams are doing. There is that worry with him all the time. That's where there are gaps. They are frightened to death to come all the way up because they are thinking anything over the top, he'd be in trouble. Most of the United players were awful against Fulham last week and, including Bruno Fernandes, Marcus Rashford and Casimero. Maguire was one of the few players who actually did well in the Old Trafford encounter on Saturday. He was lucky to stay on the pitch after his nasty lunge on Sasa Lukic, but he scored a late goal that should have been enough to secure a draw for Eric Ten Hag's side. Maguire had 104 touches in the match with a pass accuracy of 93%. The centre-back made five clearances, three interceptions and one tackle, while he also won four of his five five aerial duels. While Maguire could be pleased enough with his own performance, Keane is right to question whether his presence in the lineup impacts the rest of the team. Eric Ten Hag says he can smell a good performance coming against Manchester City. Manchester United got back to winning ways after a 1-0 victory over Nottingham Forest washed away the stench of defeat to Fulham. However, the marquee game of the season is up next, with Eric Ten Hag's men travelling to the Etihad Stadium to put their league campaign back on track. While fans might be forgiven for not feeling too hopeful about a positive result, Ten Hag struck a defiant tone in the build-up to the game. He said, our form, good. We are also on a good run. The spirit is very good. We have done it before against City, also against Liverpool. We will prepare well. The players are looking forward to it. I can smell it. I am excited. His confidence partly comes from Bruno Fernandes and Rafael Varane shaking off their issues and playing against Forrest with Casimiro joining them. Both Fernandes and Varane are set to play a part against City too, with the manager reserving special praise for Casimiro. He said, Varane and Fernandes fought to be part and they came well out of the game. I think they will be available for Sunday. I don't think players will return for Sunday. Passion, desire, determination, that is the base Casimero's mentality, definitely for the game on Sunday. 
He also said that while the fixture against City is undoubtedly important, it would be unfair to call it a season-defining fixture. He said, there are many more games to play in the FA Cup after City, many more games. We have to catch up but play more games to catch up and to get in the right position. Whether fans would agree with that assessment remains to be seen, since United are already getting adrift of a top four place. Khitafi want to extend Mason Greenwood's time in Spain. Khitafi are ready to open talks with all Trafford officials over extending Mason Greenwood's stay at the Spanish side beyond the season. Manchester United loaned the 22-year-old to the La Liga side in September following enormous public backlash at leaked plans to reintegrate him into Eric Ten Hag's squad. An internal investigation was then launched by United's executive branch designed to assess what the next step was for a player who was still legal their employee. The investigation was believed to have concluded last summer, with the result being a plan to reintroduce Greenwood in a deliberate and carefully mediated manner to mitigate the controversy this decision would generate. This plan was leaked by the Athletic, however, leading Old Trafford officials to panically change this amidst uproar at the prospective decision, both inside and outside the club. The result was a hastily agreed loan deal to Khitafi on the final day of the summer window, with a number of favorable conditions for the Spanish club, given the risk they were taking by agreeing to sign Greenwood. While there have been a number of incidents relating to the past year and a half since the 22-year-old arrived in Spain, including a recent controversy with Jude Bellingham, from a purely football perspective, the loan has been relatively successful. Greenwood has played 25 times for his newly adopted side this season, scoring 7 goals and providing 5 assists in the process. Khitafi's coaching team are thought to be very happy with the forwards' progress, considering he had not played professional football for 18 months at the point he relocated to Spain. As a result, there is belief amongst the staff that Greenwood will perform even better in the second half of the year, given his fitness has now reached a much better level after this period of inactivity. The Liga side are so happy, in fact, they want to sign Greenwood on a permanent basis when his loan deal expires at the end of the season. Manchester United to battle it out with Chelsea for 50 million euros rated defender. Manchester United are keen on signing the Atalanta defender Giorgio Scalvini and they will face competition from Chelsea. A report from CalcioMercato.it claims that Manchester United have been keeping tabs on the 20-year-old central defender for a while and they could look to make a move in the summer. The defender is likely to cost around 50 million euros and it will be interesting to see if Manchester United are ready to meet the asking price. The Red Devils need to beef up their defensive unit and Scalvini could prove to be an upgrade on players like Johnny Evans. Harry Maguire and Rafael Varane have been linked with moves away from the club as well. It seems that Manchester United might have to rebuild their defensive unit in the summer, and signing Scalvini would be a good start. The Italian could be tempted to join one of the biggest clubs in the world, and a move to Manchester United would allow him to showcase his qualities on a bigger platform in the Premier League. However, the Red Devils must secure Champions League qualification if they want to attract elite young talents like him. Meanwhile, they will face competition from Chelsea, who are keen on signing a defender as well. Scalvini could be a quality long-term alternative to Thiago Silva, and it remains to be seen whether the Blues can secure his services. They are highly unlikely to qualify for the Champions League next season, and therefore, Manchester United could have a major advantage in the transfer race. As we wrap up today's Manchester United news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.